Hello guys, it's James here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get a free Minecraft cape. Now, it is very important that um, you can, it, it's impossible to get a cape that everyone can see unless you've gone to Minecon. This mod will allow you to get a cape that anyone with the mod installed will see. As you can see, I've got the cape installed, uh, Ro Rose has got the mod installed, and so does I Hate My Name, they've all got it installed. Um, instead of Sky Dreamer over here, uh, he's got a custom Elytra on, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, I will see you shortly. Bye. So the first thing you need to do is go to minecraftcapes.co.uk. The website is in the description. And then we want to click the register button. Once you've clicked the register button, it's going to take us to this registration page where we can sign up for the website. So the reason we need to sign up is because it needs to know which username um, our Minecraft username is so it can apply the cape to that username. Uh, they're, they're all hosted. So um, we... The only thing that it needs to know really is our Minecraft username. So the first thing we do is enter our Minecraft username at the top here, not your email, your username. So my username is James Onana500. I put that in. If your username was not, you'd put that in, etc. Then we can enter a email of our choice. I'm going to use my uh, email. It doesn't have to be the same as your Minecraft email. It can be uh, any email you want. So it can be any email you like. It doesn't have to be the same as your Minecraft one. Then we're going to put in a password. Again, we can put in any password we like. It doesn't have to be the same to our Minecraft one. We recommend that you use a different password just for security reasons. Then we're just going to accept the terms and conditions, click I'm not a robot, and click register. Once we've done that, it's going to take us to the login page. Here we can put in our username again and put in the password that we just entered on the previous website. And then click submit and we'll get logged in. Once we're all logged in, the first thing we want to do is go to the gallery. So we click gallery at the top here, and then we click, say, Minecon Capes, or uh, you can get your own cape, Special Optifine, any of these will work for you. But I'm going to just choose the Minecon 2011 cape for the time being, just so I've got an example one. So I just click download there, and that's going to download the cape file. So this is the cape file we want, this tiny little one up here. It's like a skin. So once that's downloaded, the next thing we want to do is click upload cape. And then we want to choose a file, and I'm going to select uh, the Minecon cape that I just downloaded, and then click Apply Cape. That's going to basically say that it can take up to 30 minutes to appear, and it's going to ask us to check some things, but I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to do that. So now that that's all been applied, we can see that the cape's on the back of our character here, and next thing we need to do is install the mod. So to install the mod, we're going to need two things. We're going to need to download the Minecraft mod. So we click download. Um, we click uh, the Minecraft Forge version, because that's what we're downloading. And then we click Minecraft Capes Forge 1.13.2. And we click download Minecraft Capes Forge 1.13.2. Now, if you're using 1.8 or 1.7, any of those, you just choose the relative version to you. And then at the bottom here, you just click keep on this file. Next thing we're going to do is go to the Minecraft Forge website, which is the second link in the description. And then you're going to want to click uh, 1.13 at the top here, or the relative version that you've downloaded. So if you downloaded 1.12, you'd choose 1.12. If you downloaded 1.9, you'd choose 1.9, you know, blah, blah, blah. But we chose 1.13.2, so we'll click that. And then once you click that, we'll just click the installer file. Now that's going to take us to this website here, we're not going to click anything on this page, but what we're going to do is look in the top right here, and we're going to click the skip button when that appears. Once that appears, that's going to download Forge to our um, computer, and it's going to then ask us again if we want to keep the file, we're going to click keep. Now that all the files are downloaded, what we're going to do is double click the Forge 1.132 installer, or if you've got a different version, you can click that. Uh, we're probably going to get an error because Forge is downloaded from a random website. So what we need to do is we need to click the Settings or System Preferences icon and just wait for that to load. And then we're just going to click, uh, I'm just going to click OK on this pop up now to make it disappear. And then we're going to click Security and Privacy at the very top uh, menu. Just wait for that to load. And then we're going to go to the General tab, and we're going to click Open Anyway. And that's going to allow our Mac to open the thing. And then we can click Open again, and that will open the Forge installer. 
So we're just going to wait for that to load again. Now that that's loaded, we're going to make sure install client is checked and then we're just going to click OK. And that's going to install Forge to our Minecraft profile. Now this shouldn't take too long. Uh, once it's finished, we'll get another pop-up telling us it's done. So now that's finished, we can just click OK. And then what we need to do is uh, we're going to copy the Minecraft Capes Forge. We're going to right click on that and click copy. And then we're going to press Command Shift G on the keyboard, like on the screenshot in front of you. So we'll press Command Shift G, and then we'll go to the link in the description, or we'll copy that text and put that in there. Click OK, and then go to Minecraft. Make a new folder in Minecraft called Mods, M-O-D-S, like so. And then inside the Mods folder, we're going to paste the... Uh, Minecraft Capes mod that we copied a second ago. Now that that's placed in, what we can do is we can simply open up Minecraft and uh, we should be good to go. So I'm just going to open up Minecraft now. Just going to ignore this pop up. Um, that's popped up. And then we're going to make sure that the profile that we have selected is the uh, Minecraft, uh, sorry not the Minecraft, okay, it's the Forge profile. At the bottom there you can see it says 1.13.2 Forge. So we're going to make sure that says uh, it says all Forge and then we'll just click play. That's going to download um, Forge onto our uh, Mac and then it's going to launch Minecraft. Um, so once that's opened, what we want to do is we want to make sure that it says in the bottom left hand corner here Minecraft 1.13.2 or you know 1.9, 1.7, whichever version you've downloaded and make sure it says that Forge and that mods are loaded. And then what we want to do is we want to click the mods folder. Now this might look a bit different for you. Um, so the mods button anyway, this might look a bit different for you. We just want to make sure that we can see James 09500's Minecraft Capes mod. And I can see that right here. That means that that's loaded up. We'll click done on that. And then what we can do is we can join, say, a single player game. And hopefully we should be able to see our cape. So just going to wait for this to load. And if we go into third person, boom. There's our Minecraft cape. The 2011 one that I've downloaded and uploaded um, to the website. So yeah, you can make your own capes, get any custom capes like this, and it will look awesome. Now, if you're having any trouble with your not being able to see your cape, just re-watch the video. Um, if you're having any crashes or anything, make sure you join our Discord, which will be in the description. Um, you can join the Discord and post the crash log there, and a member of um, the server will be able to help you. If you want to show off some of your capes with other people, uh, don't forget to join our multiplayer server, play.capecraft.net. That's 1.13.2, and you'll be able to show off your capes um, and let other people see your capes to everyone who is on there. So yes, thank you guys for watching this video. If you need any help, check out the description below um, for our Discord, and you can join that. Um, if you can't see your cape, just make sure you watch the video again to um, to make sure you've done anything, everything correctly. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you later, and goodbye.